Big news for TFT players, boys, and even bigger news for those who want to play TFT on their phone. As well as big news for Fnatic fans because they are changing some of their staffing and G2 is adding someone else to their roster. We're going to talk about all this good stuff. As well as just big news for League of Legends fans in general because there's so much stuff going on. There's always something to look forward to with Riot. You know, they never really let us down. Thinking about it now, you know, we, we, we're kind of spoiled. We're kind of spoiled. Us, us League of Legends players. We got a lot of stuff to look forward to. So let's talk about all these changes. Let's talk about G2. Let's talk about Fnatic. And let's talk about this new TFT. Teamfight Tactics for Mobile was announced to be launching in March for iOS and Android in most countries. And they released a small video going over some changes. Set 3 is currently slated to go live in mid-March. But we'll let you know if anything changes. That's not all we have planned for March, though. That's also when we're aiming to bring TFT to mobile in most countries. While we've been busy working on PC, we've also been poring over how to bring TFT from PC to mobile in a way that feels intentionally built for the platform. So you can play lounging on the couch, taking the bus to work, or sitting on the john. So I hope you guys like TFT or are at least excited for TFT mobile because I mean, you know, like say you're at like a doctor's office or something and you're just waiting there trying to kill time, you're bored, you got nothing to do, so you whip out your phone, you got TFT mobile to play. I mean, even if you don't like the game, you might still enjoy it because realistically, you know, it's, it doesn't require too much effort to play. It's just kind of pick your champions and then pick the items and stuff. So it's going to be easy. It's a good way of killing time. I say give it a shot. If you guys have never actually tried TFT, you might enjoy it. But aside from that, Fnatic have announced the hiring of four more staff members because they are serious this year. Fnatic is back and they want to win, boys. They've got Dardo as a new team director, Loco X as a manager, Aggie as an assistant coach, and Vigar V2 as a new strategic coach. One thing that's interesting about their way of coaching is that Loco X apparently said that they want to mix the training of Fnatic's main LEC roster with that of the Academy roster. So together, they both kind of learn LEC strats at the same time. And considering Fnatic's Academy team performance last year, or you know, within within the recent few months, they're gonna be looking pretty solid going into 2020. They're a strong Academy team. They were dominating the regional events, and hopefully, with the addition of new staff, that's not gonna change anything for the worse. Because you know what they say: if it ain't broke. Don't fix it. Though, of course, Fnatic could always, you know, be, be looking at some improvements, especially their main LEC team. And G2 picked up Pinoy as an AD carry sub, a player that you might have heard of because he played in the LEC back in 2015, and he's got a little video that he announced it with. Hey, Pinoy here. Before you question, I'm not Yasuo's editor. It has been five years since I was in the LEC. Wow. Back then it was called LCS. Uh, with me joining, we're now three Danes on G2. And as you know, Danes are the Koreans of Europe. I really can't wait to get that Grand Slam and be the final piece in the puzzle. Oh wait, I'm in G2 now. I don't know why it's just weird for me to see G2 picking up other players. I don't know, like there's this thing going on in my brain that's like, you know, G2 did really well during Worlds. They didn't win, but they did really well, so they're not going to change their roster ever because they got second place and that is all they needed to get. And, you know, if they just get a little luckier next year, they get first place or something like that. I don't know. I trust G2's judgment. I'm hoping that they don't regret picking up Pinoy, even if he's just a sub, because I just want to see G2 in their prime. I'd rather not have to, you know, I'd rather just see caps and perks in the mid and bot lane. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. That's what's going on today though, guys. Thank you for watching. Oh, oh, and by the way, today was the first day of the LPL, IG versus FPX. I, just, I do suggest tuning in. That was a very interesting match, especially because IG no longer has the same bot lane. They lost Jackie Love. So we've got, uh, we've got some new stuff to actually watch. Very interesting. Also, Riot said that Clash is coming officially. The first season of Clash will be coming early this year. I know a lot of people are excited about Clash. I personally never got to play it, which was very upsetting because every time it has come out, I've not gotten to experience it. So I'm very excited for Clash. Hope you guys will too because, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of people that are like, holy crap, I want Clash back. Um, so yeah, it's coming back. Heck yeah. Thank you guys for watching again. I will see you all very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, take it easy. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.